In Acts 18, here is one interesting fact. During his time in Corinth, Paul is walking out a Nazarite vow. We learn this in verse 18. That means he wouldn't cut his hair or his beard, he would abstain from alcohol, and he was using this time to separate himself from the culture. That's why we see him in the synagogue so much during this chapter. He was doing this to show the Jewish community that he publicly respected the Mosaic law and to show that Jesus fulfilled the law, he didn't contradict it. Also notice how God used Paul's gifting as a legal thinker in the way he ministers. We see Paul persuading and debating the Mosaic law in the synagogue to share the gospel. In verse five, it says that pressed by the Holy Spirit, he testified, another legal term. In other words, he put himself on the proverbial stand as a firsthand witness of the risen Jesus. Again, we see his legal mind at work in verse 14 as he prepares to defend himself in Roman court. So what can we take away from this chapter? First, just as Paul did, surround yourself and dwell with the worshipers of God. The church isn't just a meeting place. It's a family that provides a network of strength and accountability. Second, allow God to use your gifting to reach others. Put yourself on the stand as a witness of how Jesus has changed your life. And third, know your legal rights. Pastors around the world, in our own country, even in the Calvary Chapel movement, are facing litigation to defend their rights to worship Jesus. Yes, we answer to Jesus above government, but by knowing his legal rights as a Christian and a Roman, Paul was able to further the gospel and we can too if we stand together as the body of Christ. Let me leave you with the words of Jesus in this chapter. Don't be afraid, speak out, don't be silent, for I am with you and no one will attack and harm you. For many people in this city belong to me.